In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to use motion graphic color options available in PowerDirector version 19 or PowerDirector 365 with an update of September 2020 or later. Let's assume that what I want to do is take this clip of the server and I want to use it and use some special colors because I'm going to tie it to university alumni affair of some kind. So what I want to do is use the colors in my motion graphic. To do that, first of all, I have to find the colors. Now I need to actually put them in the timeline to access them. So I'm going to use my snip tool along with the internet. So I've gone to the internet and I've gone to a place where I can see the colors. I will use my Windows key, Shift key, and S key to launch the Snip tool in Windows 10. And then I'm going to highlight the colors. I don't need all of them, just enough. And that will create a Snip. I'm clicking on it, and that will put it into the Snip window. I'm going to click on the floppy disk to save it, or I can do Control S. I'll give it a name. I'll just call it Sample. And now I have it. We can close our SNP tool right now, and we can close our browser. So what I'm going to do now is pull that into my project. So I'll right-click and do Import Media Files. Here I have my sample. I'll click on it, and now I pulled my colors in. I need to temporarily put them in the timeline, so I'm going to drag that clip and put it behind the clip I've been using. Now we get to our title room. I can click on the T or press the F7 key, and then I'm going to click the down arrow and choose Motion Graphics option. Now I'll take an example title. We'll click on this one, the 002, and take and drag it down using the normal stacking order into track number 2. And if I play what I have so far, I have the video with the default title and the default colors, but we're going to change that. So I can double click on my title. It will take me to my title designer. It warns me that there are only some things I can change, but more than I used to. So I'm going to click on OK. And now I have a new group called Graphics Color. So we're going to go to the two title tracks. First of all, we'll take Power Director. We'll change the text by highlighting it, and I'll put in Iowa State University. And then I'm going to click on the other option, where it says by CyberLink, and change that to Alumni Relation. Now we want to change the colors. In the color section on the left, I have three groups. Group 1, 2, and 3. Group 1 is actually the lines that connect these two boxes. I can change that if I want. Group 2 is the box on the top. Group 3 is the graphic color for the box on the bottom. So let's go to Group 2, and then I'm going to click to the eyedropper to the right. It will say Select Color from Preview. That's why we had to put it on the timeline. I'll click on the eyedropper. It'll open up a preview screen, and I can scroll to the frame I want to go to where I'm going to see something I can pick. That's why I put this graphic on the timeline. So I'll select the red color here, click on OK. And now I have the background color I want. I also want to change the color of the letters, so I'm going to click to the eyedropper right by, uh, behind Iowa State University. It's white now. We'll click on that. We'll select from preview. We'll move our cursor over, and now we'll select the yellow, click on OK. I also have a second area called Alumni Relations. Let's say I want that to be different. I'm going to, again, click on the eyedropper. And in this case, I could pick something from somewhere else in this particular video if I wanted. Let's just make it match his smock. Click on OK. And in that case, I think I'll change Alumni Relations color. So we're going to go to Alumni Relations, and we'll just click on the box, and we'll turn that to white. And that looks pretty good so far. 
Now if I want to change these little lines that attach the one box to the other, I can click on group number one and select the color. I can either use an eyedropper if I have something I want to copy from, or I can just select any of the colors I have here. Let's go to a solid black in this case and click on OK. So now we have changed the colors of the areas that are part of the graphics in my motion title. Go back to the beginning. We'll play it. It'll open up and then it will close down as well. And now I have my color selected not only from the default palette, but from anything I put on the timeline in CyberLink PowerDirector. So that's how to use this advanced feature when you're working with motion graphic titles in relationship to their color.